What is going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 28 of the Town Hall 12 free-to-play series. Now, for those of you that do not monitor social media, nor did you watch all of the last episode, you might be asking, where in the world did you go, Joe? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that we had to move into a new house, guys. I had to put this whole studio back together in like two days just to get back in here and start recording. So today's episode is very special because it could be one of those episodes where you're questioning where to start after taking multiple days off, right? I mean, I had to take about five days off from both YouTube and and playing the game. I just did not have time to log in. And some of you guys out there might relate to this because you got school exams or you got a project with work and real life happens, but you wanna make sure that you get your accounts going again and get back to work on that grind that is Town Hall 12, right? So we have an empty laboratory. We gotta do something about this today. And we also have three builders back. That is not good because we had heroes down for upgrade, but clearly, they are back I know so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and upgrade something in the laboratory for those of you that might have forgot because I totally forgot during sneak peeks a few weeks ago we had a clan war leagues and we also had some medals that generated from that right so I did buy a hammer of fighting the other day but I was saving it for you guys before I spent it and then we have two more hours to go and we can claim another hammer of fighting but I'm gonna save that one because we're working on our hybrid and we were working on upgrading our hog rider to level eight so we're gonna go ahead and use a hammer right now to finish this upgrade to level nine and get that hog rider to the maximum level available for town hall 12. a lot of players have been requesting the hybrid at town hall 12 and i'm not really understanding why they're requesting that because if you mastered hybrid back at town hall 10 and town hall 11 it's very similar at town hall 12. the only major difference there is the the fact that the town hall attacks back and you also have the addition of the headhunter which ties in very nicely with the hybrid because you can take out an archer queen that is targeting your hog riders with the headhunter so we're going to do some of that today and the main goal for today is get these builders back down and also get the resources to put our miner down for upgrade to level six which we need 10 million 10 million elixir guys so if you missed the message there if you take multiple days off from the game which is completely understandable your first goal first and foremost is to get something down for upgrade in your laboratory immediately if you do not have the resources to do so then you need to farm up some elixir or dark elixir and do that first before you start working on your builders the reason behind that is because a lot of the items in your laboratory take a lot longer to upgrade than what it will take to max out your village and then one more message if you are a lover of of the rushed base series be sure to check out amazon game on because i posted a clip over there specifically for you guys to show you what's been done with that account as well as a little message on the future of that series we might be picking it up very very soon because Things are about to get pretty crazy up in here. I'm not even kidding. Now, the link for that is down in the description below, both the website and the application for those of you guys out there around the world that cannot download the app. I understand that it's not available everywhere. So we're gonna take a look at a replay first with the Miner Hog Rider hybrid attack on a very basic village because I do not have all of my heroes. There is a major reason why I have not used this strategy because it does require your heroes Heroes. It does because you got to have that Grand Warden in the case that you have to bring your miners and your hog riders into the town hall. A gigabomb, the gigabomb from the town hall will destroy hog riders every single time. You got to have the eternal tome ability from the Grand Warden. So we're going to approach this base a little bit differently because we do not have a Grand Warden. We're going to use a queen this time around and we selected this base mainly because it had a ton of resources, but we also chose to go into the town hall first with the queen walk another big thing when it comes to the minor hog rider hybrid attack is it does require very stable queen charge skills meaning you understand how to queen walk we also like to use the queen walk to try to clear the clan castle and you saw i brought a hog rider in there to try to lure any possible troops out from that area because this is a very basic base and sometimes there might be an electro dragon on defense and we want to pull it out and send it 
it up into the archer queen that way she can eliminate it that's the point of the queen walk or the queen charge on the opposite side of the village you want to make sure that you start doing a little bit of funneling with the barbarian king and a siege barracks because the siege barracks has both the pekka and the wizards that generate from it but you also got to pay attention to that little timer on top before it releases your hog riders that are inside because you want to make sure that you time it just right to where the hog riders from your army camps and the siege barracks link in together inside the village and then you're going to basically use your heal spells to keep them alive while trying to preserve the queen charge using the freeze spell to freeze the single targets in this situation and then we also bring headhunters with the idea to get rid of the archer queen and get rid of the barbarian king because the headhunter will absolutely wreck heroes really fast and as you can see if you time it just right things should come together very nicely for you and this was just a replay on a very basic base we're going to go out after this and do some live attacking and show you some different scenarios and different bases some of the things that you might see in clan war obviously this is not a clan war attack but this is more of a clan war army the only problem right now is that i scoured across all of my clans and all of the town hall 12s have heroes down and they're not doing clan war right now it's just one of the things that we have to worry about when it comes to playing free to play when you're playing free to play hero upgrades are immensely important and that's one of the biggest focus for a lot of serious players so we're going to go ahead and speed this replay up that way you can see the army for yourself this army can be adjusted to meet any base that you might be facing off against and you know what time it is boys it is time to do an attack live now the problem here is that we worked our way up into masters one and we wanted to hit very strong bases but then we find bases like this and i need the resources so i tell you what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to hit this base first and then we're gonna try to find something a little bit more challenging a little bit more realistic for some of you guys out there but this uh video is just kind of like a starter video to get us going again since we were off for like a couple of days and this is not an official hybrid video we'll we'll make a little bit more of an official one later on once we get all of our heroes upgraded and we have all of them at the same time and you notice that the queen decided that she did not want to go back the other way she decided she wanted to go this way instead so i tell you what we're gonna have to do boys we're gonna have to do this right here we're gonna drop the barbarian king and we're gonna let him work for just a moment we're gonna let the queen work and i think we're gonna go ahead and release our siege barracks now we gotta watch the timer on that thing because we do not want to release our hog riders from the siege barracks without releasing our miners from our army camps our, our miners and our hog riders so the king's ability has to be used he's a little bit weaker he's not level 65 yet we're gonna get there eventually let's go ahead and drop a rage spell on our queen she's ever battling it out versus a king and like some other defenses and let's go ahead and release our miners since the siege barracks is about to release the hog riders riders from the siege barracks now the hogs are going to work their way in let's go ahead and release some headhunters let's go ahead and drop a heal spell and it looks like the eagle artillery has been activated let's go ahead and freeze that the headhunter goes in there and takes down that, <laughs> that archer queen like a joke boys just like straight up joke let's go ahead and freeze the town hall now this one is a stage two so we don't really have to worry about the giga bomb from this one like we would a stage five that is something that you have to take into consideration if you're looking at a war base is you have to think what level is this town hall if it's like a lower one then you don't really have to worry about it and you do not necessarily need the grand warden for that either let's go ahead and release a heal spell here for our hog riders and i guess we can go ahead and drop this head hunter and we have one more rage and a baby dragon this was a very weak base so we can just go ahead and dump our army reset and then uh let's just go ahead and get rid of this raid spell that way we can completely reset we're up to 10 million on the elixir 11 million on the gold now let's go find a more suitable base for this army so we got a little bit stronger of a village with a town hall that's on the right side of the base so i tell you what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to do this without messing it up incredibly bad no guarantees all right it's been a hot minute we're missing a hero we're doing the best that we can okay 
Let's go ahead and drop baby dragon on this side. Drop a balloon there and there. And we might need to use a rage spell against that higher level barbarian king. Level 41. I mean, he's a little stronger. Nothing like major, but he's still kind of strong regardless. Now, we got to get some super wall breakers in there. We also need to get another baby dragon down to kind of clear out some of these buildings. I need to push this queen back the other way. There we go. Go the other way, queen. Go the other way. We need to get rid of the town hall, okay? Get rid of the town hall and also check the clan castle. Let's drop our barbarian king right there. Dropping the siege barracks. Send a P.E.K.K.A. in on the cannon over there. Queen's working. She's going to take down the town hall. Now, the biggest change here is the fact that we got an eagle artillery on the other side of the village. But this is kind of where we're going to have to work our miners in sync over there and try to clear out the rest of the village while the queen works on this side. Now, she's going to go after the archer tower. And we also got to pay attention to where our hog riders are going to emerge. So the hog riders are about to be released. So let's go ahead and release miners. And let's go ahead and release hog riders. Let's save our siege or our, our headhunters. Let's hold on to them for a second. Let's go ahead and freeze this. Let's release some headhunters to run across the village with our miners and our hogs. Since they're gonna probably target the center of this village, drop our poison. Let's go ahead and freeze this one more time. Queen is gonna get roasted. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> that's not good. Let's rage up these hogs. Oh, oh, hoo -ha, hoo -ha. let's go ahead and drop a heal spell over here. And looks like the hogs have split on us. We got hogs over on the right. We got hogs on the left. We got multi targets still standing and the queen got left behind. So that's not really a good thing either. You know what I mean? Because when our troops split like this, they don't really have a lot of coverage. You know what I mean? So I feel like I kind of messed up here. <laughs> I feel like I messed up just a little bit, guys. I feel like I messed up because uh, unfortunately the hogs are all dead. Well then, all right. So I guess we can see that uh, you know this is kind of where the uh, the uh, the uh, you know, the Grand Warden would have came into play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go ahead and release a super wall breaker to open up that wall for that queen to go after that air defense and the multi target. And I guess we can see what else will you know what our results will end up being. It's not going to be a three star. We're going to run out of time here. We ran out of juice. The queen's going to take on that uh, air defense. Let's go ahead and drop two goblins. Sometimes players do tend to bring the sneaky goblins instead because they are a lot stronger let's use that queen's ability and i think we're only going to get about 80 percent off this base i mean it's not bad it was a stronger village we had to take a different approach i'm over here making excuses <laughs> But you know what? It's okay. It's a learning experience. You got to practice it. You got to get used to using it again. And we haven't used this army in a hot minute, guys. So we finished up at 85%. But you can see where we possibly could have made some improvements there and been a little bit more direct on our miners and our hog riders. Because if we had to work them through like this side over here, like all the way through and taken out the eagle, we probably would have done a lot better. Plus, if we had the Grand Warden's ability. Okay, enough of my excuses. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to probably finish this up today. We are going to start working with the minor hog rider hybrid attack, start working on perfecting it, getting those different skills back down. And it's just one of those things that you got to work with. You can't just pick up a strategy, a clan war strategy at that and expect to be perfect with it the very first time that you use it. Even though you might have mastered it back at Town Hall 11, if you take a break from it, the bases do change quite a bit once you get to Town Hall 12. There's some minor changes. Well, there's some major changes, but regardless, you still got to get the practice and the timing in to be able to perfect those armies. And we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to put our miners down for upgrade because, well, I guess we're not going to put them down. Hold on. Hold, hold that thought. <laughs> hold that thought, boys. Hold that thought. Let's check the treasury. What's inside the treasury? Oh, yeah. There we go. And we did claim our loot cart, so we're good to go. So we need to upgrade our miners. We're working with Town Hall 11 miners. There's another excuse for you. <laughs> Put them down for the next 14 days. My gosh, 14 days. And then we're going to use a hammer because I believe they have to be upgraded one more time. I don't remember. I'll have to verify and check, but I think they got to go up one more level after this one right here. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And I think we have enough gold to put down a defense. Let me see if I can put down another expo for another 14 days. And then I need to work on Dark Elixir to put my heroes back down for upgrade we need 236,000 dark for our archer queen and then we need 
209,000 dark for our barbarian king. My goodness, I'm going to be busy for the next day or so. But anyways, hopefully you were able to get something out of today's episode, guys. If you take a long break, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You can always pick back up by getting your builders back to work in your laboratory, training and upgrading again, and then just kind of take your time. But it's understandable. I mean, real life happens. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you like watching us quite regularly, turn on those notifications. If you need any additional video support or you would like to see the very start of this series right here, click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.